Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons to visit Denmark in 2021. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of the most compelling arguments as to why you should consider Denmark for your next big trip. Number 10. Friendly Locals Denmark is consistently ranked as one of the happiest nations on Earth, often coming second only to Finland, and not by a very wide margin. While there's no guarantee that one week-long trip to Denmark will teach you everything that the Danes have to offer in terms of the pursuit of happiness, the time you spend with them is certainly a pleasure. Ask anyone who's visited, and they're sure to wax poetic about how welcoming, accommodating, and kind the locals are. And because English is widely spoken, it's never difficult to get directions, order at a restaurant, or ask for help. They say that happiness is infectious, and at least as far as Denmark is concerned, that certainly proves true. Number 9. It's a cyclist's paradise If you're comfortable on two wheels and like to exercise when traveling, Denmark is an obvious choice. Sure. Navigating a new city by bicycle can be a bit overwhelming at first, but it's also one of the best ways to get your bearings and discover hidden gems. There are some things that simply won't come up in your research, and need to be stumbled upon. When your legs are tired or it's after dark and you'd rather not be biking in unfamiliar territory, Denmark boasts excellent public transportation options, both within the city and to cover the distance between them. Denmark is only about a seven-hour drive from end to end, excluding the islands. While the buses and trains run regularly, cycling is also a popular way to do intercity travel, with ample camping opportunities along the way for more outdoorsy travelers. Number 8. Coffee Culture Around the globe, it's estimated that 2.25 billion cups of coffee are consumed each and every day. Our world runs on the stuff. But for many people, coffee is more than just a dose of caffeine, it's a ritual. Others would go so far as to call the preparation an art form. For those who love coffee and everything that goes into it, we suspect you'll feel at home in Denmark. Here, coffee culture is flourishing. Independent cafes and small local chains are the default, with major international outlets being relatively few and far between. Denmark consistently ranks among the countries that drink the most coffee per capita, but this is a rare instance in which quantity doesn't come at the expense of quality. Each cafe has its own unique personality and a lovingly prepared brew to match. Number 7. A culinary scene on the cutting edge If you're into food, chances are that you've heard of a little place called Noma. It just so happens to be considered one of the best restaurants in the world. In fact, Restaurant Magazine ranked it as the best in 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2014. As recently as 2019, it's also claimed second place. Noma and chef René Redzepi are at the forefront of the new Nordic cuisine movement, which is characterized by local seasonal ingredients and a renewed interest in traditional preparation techniques, elevated to new heights. Denmark is at the heart of the movement, and this remarkable approach to food has made the country, Copenhagen in particular, a must-visit destination for foodies with countless restaurants to visit. Of course, Denmark is also serious about beer, so you'll never have to go far to get a pint of quality brew. Number 6. The Charms of Winter When people consider a trip to Denmark, it's usually when the weather is at its most inviting. Summertime is peak tourism season. The days are long, the sun shines bright, and rainy days are few and far between. The months of July and August as such play host to some of the country's biggest and best events. Those who aren't intimidated by winter, however, will find more than just smaller crowds to appreciate by visiting in the off-season. Denmark is a beautiful nation year-round, but with a fresh coating of snow, cities like Copenhagen and the old town of Aarhus take on a fairy tale quality. The Danish people are no strangers to the cold, and they've got a wide range of winter activities to make the most of the chilly weather. From Christmas festivities to skating in the city, Denmark will give you a newfound appreciation for winter. Number 5. An Eye for Fashion When you think fashion, what are the cities that come to mind? Paris, Milan, London, and New York. More recently, maybe Seoul. If you've got a friend who's truly got a passion for fashion, however, they'll tell you that Copenhagen is a city that's consistently ahead of the trend, if not starting their own. 
from haute couture and the nation's coolest brands like Woodward, Astrid Andersen, and Baum und Fergarten to street style and flea market finds, Copenhagen distinguishes itself. Like with most Danish industries, the local fashion brands tend to take sustainability very seriously, meaning that even when you splurge, you can feel good about your purchases. Copenhagen is such a fashionable city, and one that has notably mastered the art of layering, that even if you're not generally fashion-focused, you may find yourself wanting to update your wardrobe. Number 4. Art and Culture Denmark is a nation that understands the importance of promoting the arts and cultural activities. Not only that, but it's also driven by a philosophy that art and culture should be accessible to everyone. Though the nation is modest in both size and population, it's home to an impressive variety of museums and galleries, many of which are free or charge very reasonable entrance fees. This is true all throughout Denmark. But Copenhagen and Aarhus are among the country's greatest cultural centers. Whether you're looking to immerse yourself in contemporary art, walk amongst the works of great masters, or learn about the history of Denmark, you're truly spoiled for choice. Must-visit institutions include the Kunsten Museum of Modern Art, the National Gallery of Denmark, New Carlsberg Liptothek, and the Aarhus Aarhus Art Museum. Number 3. The Coastline Many first-time visitors to Denmark may find themselves tempted to spend the entire trip in Copenhagen, and that's understandable. It's one of the most dynamic modern cities you'll ever explore. Be that as it may, the Danish countryside is beautiful, so it's well worth taking a break from city life to appreciate everything that the nation has to offer. Photographers in particular cannot afford to miss the country's breathtaking coastline. The rugged sandy beaches, grassy dunes, and ocean views never fail to make an impression. Robia Kunuda Lighthouse, surrounded by sand, is an especially unique photo op. At North Yulan, you'll be greeted by a natural sight the likes of which you're unlikely to find anywhere else. At Grenen Beach, the waters of the Skerak and the Kedegat Seas collide, and you can actually see the difference between them. Number 2. Architecture New and Old Denmark, and Copenhagen in particular, has distinguished itself as a leader in the world of design. This applies equally to architecture. As you explore the country's two biggest cities, Copenhagen and Aarhus, you can't help but feel inspired by the incredibly creative, forward-thinking approach taken by the architects of Denmark. These are functional works of art and marvels of civil engineering. Some seem to defy the laws of physics. The Royal Danish Opera House, the Axel Towers, Kajosplatz, and the VM Houses and Mountain are just a few such examples. Of course, given Denmark's long and storied history, the country boasts notable examples of architecture from pretty much every major period. And at the other end of the timeline, there are historic structures like Fransbo Palace, Kronbo Castle, and Frederiksbo Palace. Number 1. A Crash Course in Hygge we started our list talking about how friendly and welcoming the local people are in Denmark. And considering everything that this nation has to offer, it's not hard to understand why. Perhaps the most compelling contributing factor to this happiness, however, is the philosophy of Hygge. There's no direct translation in English, but it's best summarized as the cultivation of coziness, warmth, and appreciation for the good things in life. It's both an atmosphere and an internal state. It's about promoting a sense of well-being, but in a simple and straightforward way, unlike the often results-driven wellness industry of North America. Hygge is a beautiful concept and needs to be experienced firsthand to really be understood. Learn from the Danes, and you can even bring Hygge home as a souvenir. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.